All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on, fight fans? This is the Funk coming at you again, post-fight style, for uh, Timothy Bradley versus Juan Manuel Marquez. Um, pretty good fight, I must say. It was, uh, you know, not the uh, classic slugfest that most fans uh, enjoy, but uh, for the hardcores, you know, it was a it was a great, uh, you know high speed chess or whatever you want to call it uh, it, was a, it was a thinking fight thinking man's fight um, but it was also explosive uh, at, at in spots but um overall I thought it was a very good fight man um, for my prediction I did predict Tim Bradley to win by decision and he does get the decision um, he improves to 31 and0 while Marquez drops to 55 and 7. Um, I must say, uh, Timothy Bradley did exactly what I thought he was going to do. He, uh, definitely learned his lesson from the Provodnikov fight and decided to box and stick to boxing and, um, didn't get, uh, suckered into a brawl or any kind of wild exchanges for, you know, rounds and rounds at a time. It was here and there where you got into these little exchanges with Marquez but overall, I just thought he was too fast uh, with the hand speed. Uh, the leg movement was nice. The lateral movement around the ring, the in and out. Uh, the jab was on point, man. I mean, the jab was looking real fast, sharp, and hard. And, um, you know, defensively, he was good, too. Um, had some good head movement. Uh, even mixed in a little shoulder roll here and there. Rolled some shots and came back with the with the counter, the pull counter, you know. Um I thought Tim Bradley looked very, very good in the ring. I also thought that Juan Manuel Marquez looked pretty damn good, too. I thought he looked uh, still very sharp, um, uh, quick, too, with his punches. I mean, not as fast as Bradley, but he did. He was looking pretty fast. Um, I think that the reflexes are still there. Um, the power, obviously, he was throwing some real crisp, crisp and hard shots. Um, I thought he looked pretty damn good myself. Um... I just think Tim Bradley was just better on the on this night, you know, and um, for me, I think that if uh, Marquez fights just about anybody at 147, he he might get the win that night, you know. I I I I, I thought he looked pretty damn good myself. Uh, I did have the fight eight rounds to four for Tim Bradley, 116, 112. Um, you know, there really wasn't a whole lot of uh, you know, drama as far as like uh anybody being hurt or anything like that until the very last round when they had a exchange and um, Marquez kind of pinned Bradley up against the ropes and they started to throw some good shots at each other and um, Bradley hit him with a nice clean left hook uh, you know at first when I saw it, I thought it was maybe a little bit of a balance shot but um, I went back and watched the fight again and um, I gotta say, Marquez looked like he was well balanced when he got hit with that punch. He was in the middle of throwing a punch himself. He just got caught with the left hook and uh, almost went down. So, um, you know, that was like probably the most exciting part of the, of the night, I guess. But um, I did enjoy watching the fight. I thought that they both made uh, some good adjustments during the fight to each other. And, um, you know, Bradley, he was just... He was just too too good, too fast for Marquez, you know, and, you know, I think it's time for people to really start giving this guy some credit, man, you know, um, it seems like the more and more that Tim Bradley wins, the more and more he improves his record, the more and more people just want to hate on him, you know, I just, I don't understand it, you know, I just really don't, um, this is a guy who's, you know, he's taking on some people, man, I mean, since he's moved up to welterweight, I mean, he's, he's fought and beat Manny Pacquiao, Ruslan Provodnikov, and now Juan Manuel Marquez. Um, at 140, I mean, he's fought some guys there too. I mean, beat guys like Kendall Holt, Nate Campbell, uh, gave Lamont Peterson his first loss. Um, I believe that uh, Carlos, uh, I mean, Luis Carlos Abregu, I believe he was undefeated too at that time. Uh, also, Devin Alexander. I mean, this guy, he's... He's up there, man. I, I mean, I might have to agree with what he said after the fight when he said that he was, you know, top three pound for pound right now behind uh, Floyd Mayweather and Andre Ward, man. I mean, you can't really argue with that, man. I mean, the guy is looking really good. Um, you know, 
I think that he's definitely comfortable at this weight now, at 147. He's the reigning w, uh, WBO champion, man, undefeated. Um, you know, I think that there's somebody out there that really needs to fight him soon, sooner than later, and uh, we'll get on that in a minute. But, um, yeah, you know, I just thought that, um, you know, he really used, Tim Bradley really used his brain, his boxing brain well in there, and um, decided to stick to boxing, man. And I'm, and I'm proud that he stuck to his guns. I'm happy for him. Uh, he didn't. He didn't let the fans try to sucker him into a, a war, a slugfest with Marquez, you know. And uh, that's good for him, man. You know, I'm glad to see he's finally um, starting to do what he needs to do to just get the win instead of trying to impress the fans like he did with the Provodnikov fight, you know. But um, as far as Marquez goes, like I said, I thought he looked good as well. I think that um, most people really did fall in love with the the knockout that he had against Manny Pacquiao and. Um, not to take any credit away from Juan Manuel Marquez for that, but, you know, like I said in my prediction video, the guy has fought him three times already and knows him inside and out. You know what I'm saying? So for, for me, it was just a matter of time before he caught Manny with something big and put the guy away. You know, as wild as Manny gets sometimes, um, and he was constantly running in to Marquez's right hand, you know, it was just, like I said, just a matter of time. And I think that a lot of people really, really fell in love with that knockout, and that's what they were basing their prediction or their pick off of in this fight. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I looked around on YouTube. You know, I like to watch a lot of people's videos. Um, you know, I did see a lot of people predicting Tim, Tim Bradley to win for the same reasons that I did. Um, but as far as people that I know outside of YouTube, um, <laughs> I was the only one that picked the guy to win that I knew of, you know. I mean, people at work, people that I, people, my friends are, you know, just in life. Everybody had Marquez winning. They thought he was going to go in there and just knock this guy out. I tried to tell him, I said, man, this guy, Tim Bradley, man, he's got heart, man. He's tough. He's got a chin. You know, he's, you could tell he's very competitive, man. He doesn't like to lose. You could just, you could just see that. I mean, he gets hit with something and right away he wants to touch you back, you know. He just, you know, he's just one of those, he's just one of those competitive, real competitive guys, man. And, um, you know, I tried to tell people, man, that this guy, he's, he's no pushover, you know, but it's just, I don't understand why people just don't want to give him his due, man. I mean, give the guy his credit. You know, I named off all the people that he's beat. I mean, those are some, some good fighters, you know, a lot of them are undefeated. So, at, you know, at some point we just got to really just leave all the pride aside, you know, a lot of, I know a lot of Manny Pacquiao fans are out there mad at him still, and then they want to jump on Provodnikov's dick and act like he won the fight, I mean, come on, let's just be real, man, the guy won the fight, okay, he beat Provodnikov, he got the win against Pacquiao, whether you agree or you don't, you know, and he, it, to me, it was a clear-cut win against Marquez, let's just give the guy his credit, man, you know, I don't understand some of these fans, you know, like, you know, I went to work today, and, you know, there's some people that I talk boxing with at work, and they were just, I mean, it just really just blew my mind about some of the things they were saying about the fight. I mean, they're just like, you know, man, Bradley ain't shit, man. You know, he just he, he just showed me that he could beat a 40-year-old, you know. Well, this is the same guy that's talking about Marquez going to knock him out before the fight, you know. Um, I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know what it is about Bradley, man, but people just, they just really want to hate on the guy, you know. I mean, just just give the guy his credit, man. He beat Marquez, you know. I mean, Marquez is a Hall of Fame fighter, you know. Give the guy his credit. Um, at this point, you know, I don't really know for Marquez. You know, I don't really know what um, what he's going to do next, if he's going to continue fighting or is he going to retire. Um, like I said, I thought he looked w pretty damn good in there. Um, I think he should just continue fighting, you know. As long as he's not getting, you know, constantly knocked out or busted up, you know, I think that it's, you know, hey, continue, man. As long as you're not getting your brains beat in, you know, you should be okay. Um, but, you know, most I just want to talk about the fan reaction after this, man. It just really blows my mind, man. I mean, you know, a lot of these guys, they, they want to complain about Bradley not having punching power, you know. like, And I know a lot of Floyd Mayweather fans, hardcore Floyd Mayweather fans, and... You know, I just don't get where they're coming from. They're just like, man, this is what I don't like this guy, man. He just he don't punch hard and you know, he don't 
he don't get knockouts and he don't hurt nobody. It's like, you know, fuck when was the last time Floyd Mayweather knocked somebody out, you know? You you don't have a problem watching him, you know, pity pat people to death like some people say, you know? You don't have a problem with that, but when it's somebody else, you got to, you know, you, you want to hate. You know, I just don't understand it, man. And we're, since we're talking about Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather needs to fight Tim Bradley. If these are going to be his last four fights, like he says... He cannot go another four fights without fighting Tim Bradley, especially if Bradley stays undefeated throughout all those. You know, he's he's gotta he throughout his four fights. If he stays undefeated, gotta get in there, man. I don't want to hear no excuses from anybody. You know, I know there's a lot of extreme Floyd Mayweather fans on YouTube. You know, I don't want to hear no excuses, man. There's no excuse why he shouldn't be fighting an undefeated champion in his division. Okay, there's just no way around it at all. There should be no excuses. You should want to see him do it. You, you know, I mean, it's a fight he could win, right? You know what I'm saying? It's a fight that he could win. So why not do it? But on the flip side of that, I I personally think that Tim Bradley can make a, a, a good fight out of it. I think he's got some of the tools and the qualities uh, to really give Mayweather some trouble. Now, I'm not sitting here saying he's going to win. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention who I think is gonna win that fight if it ever happens because you know I want to I want to see it signed and sealed and whatever you want to call it first before I make a prediction on it and you better bet you bet your ass that I'll make a prediction video on that fight if it ever comes out but um you know I I really do think that Tim Bradley has th the tools to beat um or at least be competitive with uh, Floyd Mayweather. Just my opinion, guys, all right? If you want to come attack me about that, I don't care. Okay, I'm pretty sure somebody might make a, a response video talking about make a video and look at Tim Bradley. Oh, look, he does this, he does that, and, you know, Floyd Mayweather will just pick him apart, you know? I don't want to hear all that, okay? I mean, anybody can sit down and look at some film and pick out little parts and be like, well, look at this, look at this, look at that, you know? I want to see the guy get in the ring and do it, okay? That's all I'm saying. Get in the fucking ring and do it. That's it. Okay, now I'm not trying to say he's ducking Bradley or anything like that. But he needs to fight him. And I don't want to hear no, well, he'll just wipe the floor with him. Then get in there and do it. You know, that's all I'm saying. I'm a fight fan. I want to see the best fights possible. And that right there is a good fight. You know? So let's get it. Two, two undefeated champions at 147 pounds. What more can you ask for? One guy is considered the best pound for pound. One guy is considered top three now. If you want to put him there, you know? So, yeah, that's really all i got to say about it. Um, let's, just give the, let's just give Tim Bradley his credit for this win. He's beaten two Hall of Famers out of his last three fights. You know, that was, that's impressive to me. So let's just give the man his due. Okay, and I'm not a fan of Tim Bradley. So anybody talking about, oh, you're just a fan or whatever. Not a fan of any fighter. I'm just not. Okay, I'm a fan of the sport. I put the sport of boxing above any fighter. Okay, I just don't do things like that. I don't play the favorite card. So... Anybody wants to come here talking that noise, sorry. Not going to happen. But, um, you know, Top Rank did try to do some dirty stuff, you know. Try to, I don't understand how one judge had it for Marquez. I mean, uh, you know, it just gets frustrating. I mean, as boxing fans, I mean, we're all used to this type of stuff. But, I mean, really, it's got to, I mean, at some point, this has got to end, man. It's just always one card where you're just shaking your head or just scratching your head. Like, what the hell's going on, you know. But... Either way, you know, they try to get Tim Bradley <laughs> with the decision. He should have won it unanimously, I think. I thought it was a pretty clear-cut win, so, you know, that's really all I got to say about it. You guys, go ahead and leave me a message. Uh, let me know what you think about uh, Bradley facing Mayweather in the future. And, you know, as for Marquez, what do you want to see him do next? So, getting ready to end the video now. You guys, go ahead and get at me. This is G-Funk. And I'm out of here. Catch you on the next video.